but I thought you said the market never goes down. Where? <laughs> I don't even know where to go with this video anymore. I was gonna go full retard, uh, then I was gonna just go relaxation mode. I don't even know where to go anymore. I don't even know what to say anymore. You really wanna do this to yourself? So you're trading the stock one day and next thing you know it goes down after you were waiting for it to go down, then it goes down. You're waiting for this other stock to go up after you, you're waiting and waiting and then it goes up. Day trading will drive you nuts. Oh man, so it's spa day here at the house. Yes, try to relax. I can't relax with all this excitement happening. So all I was saying was day trading, very frustrating. One day, you'll be trading something and you're waiting for it to do something and then you give up and the next day it happens. And then you short something and the next day it plummets after you're not short anymore. And every day you go to cash and you think, all right, well, tomorrow will be another day. And then you hang on to something and then it goes down and you decide not to hold on to something and then it goes up. It's maddening. Maybe this white coat is more of an insane asylum jacket. But really, my wife hired a a woman to come to the house. Now, I don't know what's going to happen. There's a woman coming. She says, if I'm going to hang on to this beard, oh, beard number, beard day, beard day. Uh, we had one update on UVXY yesterday. So maybe, maybe today's the day. Because if we can have a green day today, maybe Monday we have a green day. That'll be three days. But she's sending a lady to the house to massage me, give me a nice facial. Yeah. Maybe I get a facial involved. Maybe there'll be a facial. I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. I'm a lot of little masseuse action, little hot towel, little shaving, trimming around. It's really not coming in. I mean, chicka boof, oh wait, chicka blam, and chicka boofa. This might take, I don't know, like six months to get in there. So I don't know. What's the print? The print is GoPro there was at 950 and now it's at 990. So <laughs> this day's over already. Fantastic. <laughs> GoPro, huh? Oh, so one more time to the guy on uh, Stock Twits about a year and a half ago who insulted my mom when I told him GoPro, it's just a one product company. And their cameras are awesome, but their stock's probably not going to be because all they do is make one product and eventually everybody will have it. You do realize when a GoPro comes out with a new camera, people don't go running to the stores to buy the new GoPro. I love GoPro. I love that camera. I love that camera. You put it in the watertight box and you film stuff underwater. Hence the terminology underwater box. You put it in the box. What a great camera. It is. But the stock blows. You know why? Because nobody upgrades. It's not like people clamoring for the new phone, which is crazy in itself because, again, I will only buy a new phone. And, again, being who I am, I don't buy shit, but I would only buy a new phone if my phone breaks. So until they force me to buy a new phone, I will not get a new phone. And if you didn't realize they do force you to buy a new phone because suddenly the apps don't work on your phone. Sorry, sir, your Chase app doesn't work on this system. And then they want you to update the software. And then you update the software on your older phone and the new software and suddenly your phone doesn't work anymore. That's how they get you. Maybe you didn't know. But they got it all figured out. But GoPro, you could get the GoPro 1, 2, 3, 4 on eBay. Who needs GoPro? Just like BlackBerry. Yeah, you're still waiting for BlackBerry to come back. I know one day, right, it'll be a data processing company, right? Their new phone's going to revolutionize the world. Maybe one day, holding on to BlackBerry and your Amarin and your Mankind and all those great stocks that you just caught hold the bag like Act G with me. I'm down a big point on the Act G and it's the worst point I've ever lost because, man, it's been, what, three months now? Hamid! A little rub and tug action maybe tonight? I don't know if my wife was implying that I, this is a rub and tug. 
I think it's more of a shave and a, and a back and a scalp massage or something. Either way. Either way, tonight is my night, bro. Oh, do I? Did you want an update on the Sandra Bullock episode? They were just teasing the Kenny. There was no menage that night. There was just quiche that I didn't like and lots of wine that I don't drink. And they laughed. And my wife kind of thought that I actually thought. And then she actually got mad because she thought that I thought that maybe this was actually happening. And then my wife said, did you really think that was going to happen? And I had to pretend that I didn't think it was going to happen, even though I knew it wasn't going to happen. Even though I wanted it to happen, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, what are you going to do? Still, it was a fun night for my wife and I. Not that you care. Oh, you want to talk about stocks? Fuck that shit. Fuck it. Oh, by the way, the Gilead. Yeah, remember when I held uh, it overnight and it went down yesterday? It's back up. Whoa, thank God. I thought my life was over there. This music's actually working out for me. And then you had the PULM because that's all we really traded yesterday morning. Oh, and the U.S. Steel was a monster. PULM. When it broke 420, all my pothead friends said, Hey, look, it's breaking 420 again. Let's buy it. And next thing you know, it was $5. And then 5 got you 550 550 got you 6 Sick thing. It almost went to $7 there. So, frustrating, yes. Exciting, no. We just try to do what we do every day and make a little bit of money. And it's annoying that day when I was short Clovis and then today I see us down five or six points. But at least I don't own FireEye or GoPro or really anything. I still like SQ. I do. Even though that stock looks like it blows right now. It's been, what, three or four months now? I don't see the point. Stock investing. You get in to some PULM. You get out of PULM. That stock moved more than ACG's moved in six months. In two days. What do I need to hold stocks for? Right? And then what else do I got? I got SQ, right? Yeah, it was a nice move. But it's been sitting around for, what, a, a month, month and a half? Fun times investing in stocks, right? Fun times. I still like it. But you know what? Let's talk about cybersecurity. Let me ask you a question. Have you gotten a virus on your computer lately? Exactly. Has the United States infrastructure been hacked? Of course it has. There's been tampering with the election, for God's sakes. So if the United States government can't prevent cyber attacks, what makes you think cyber stocks are worth anything? Well, what about that Pan W, Kenny? What about it? Ah, there's always one freak of nature. These companies, by definition, are scams because they don't do anything. How's that semantic working out? Not the stock, I'm just saying. So I get the scanner on my computer. It scans the computer. I know there's something wrong with my computer because every once in a while I get the blue screen of death, but the semantic by antivirus says my computer's fine. <laughs> apparently it's not. And apparently it doesn't work because somehow the virus got into my computer. So all that... What is that? Uh, whatever, that subscription I pay each year? Well, you should have tried Barracuda. Really? So, I want to know. Semantic, Barracuda, FireEye. Well, they do other things with the government. Do they? Do they? Cybersecurity, you know what they're good for? Spreading rumors, spreading viruses, and then claiming that they have software that can fix that virus. They actually create the viruses, so then they can say they're fixing the virus. That's what they do. They're all worthless. As a matter of fact, everything's worthless. Except data today. D-A-T-A. -A. Now there's something. Gapped up, what, seven or eight points? Now, interesting chart on the data. You want to talk about it? Sure, let's talk about it. The data, I don't know. Numbers apparently were good. Well, if the stock doesn't roll over and die like most other stocks have been doing on their gaps, uh, you got a nice little gap fill there. If it breaks 6250, yeah. Wait, up, wait up, I just want to name a few more stocks. Hold on a second. Just one second. I got some other interesting stuff for you. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Gilly, look. It's up 72.50 again. I'm, I'm at break even. Hold on. I got a list of stocks I want you to take a look at.
Apple, Microsoft, Facebook, Google, Comcast, Intel, Cisco, and Amgen. Yep. Hang on. I got more. Qualcomm, Texas Instruments, NVIDIA, Adobe, PayPal, Baidu, ADP, Yahoo Applied Materials, eBay, NXPI, Cognizant, CTSH, Intuit, INTU, ATVI, MUEA, ADI, FISV, Western Digital, WDC, Paychex, PAYX, NetTees, NTES, Western Digital again, LAM Research, LRCX, Semantic against SYMC, Checkpoint Software, CKAXP, Xilinx, one of my favorite names, Xilinx, XLNX, Clack, KLAC, Seagate, CA, Maxim, Akamai, don't forget Akamai, AKAM, Amazon again, Comcast said that one already, Starbucks Priceline, Netflix, Tesla, Fox, Marriott, Raw Stores, JD.com, Liberty Global, Dollar Tree, C Trip, Ulta Beauty Salons, Expedia, Viacom, Dish Networks, Norwegian Cruise Lines, Mattel, Discovery Labs, don't forget, Amgen again, Gilead, woohoo, Celgene, ESRX, Express Scripts, Illumina, and Intuitive Surgical. Inside Vertex Milan, Cernicorp, and then of course Holex and Kraft Heinz, Walgreens, Costco, Monster Beverages, CSX, American Airlines, Fastenal, and don't forget TMUS, T Mobile, and a little Vodafone. All right, just wanted to name a few stocks. So, uh, yeah. Just looking forward to the rub down, and then I'm going out to Holy GoPro. I love trading. I love it so much. Dollar cost averaging, right, guys? Nine forty three. We joked, we laughed, we cried. Who am I even talking to right now? Fucking a, baby. Fucking. And it's not even nine o'clock. Oh, it is nine o'clock. It's nine fourteen. How about that dollar cost average in the GoPro? Now that, my friends, is fun times. Remember, kids, I just want to throw this out there. GoPro had an epic short squeeze last time they got downgraded, so I was hoping it would stay under 10, so maybe we could gamble on some $10 calls, but uh, it's already happened. Looks like some of these guys have already made money, so bully, bully for you. 960 break, pretty sweet. Day's pretty much over now, so if you want to come and hang out with us, yeah, we'll, we'll be shooting this shit. Well, cheerio to you, and, uh, oh, I haven't even mentioned UVXY. Oh, did I mention UVXY? I don't know. I'm just so relaxed right now. Ah, oh, I took a couple of Valium mixed with the uh, coffee. I don't know. Is that kind of like defeating the whole purpose? Who takes Valium anymore? What is this, 1970s? <laughs> when jobs reports mattered. When Valium was cool was the same time that jobs reports mattered and economic data mattered. <laughs> We're having too much fun here. Um, oh, yeah, UVXY, right. So the idea is, the point of the beard, maybe you missed out on the point. I'm growing a beard here until UVXY is a three-day rally. Maybe you're missing the point here. The point is, if it rallies one day or two days, chances are you should be looking to short it that next day. Hence the reason of the beard. It's, it's a pretty good trade, and uh, it's been working. All right. Let's give it up. Let's give it up for, I don't know. Let's give it up to the people that insulted my mom about the GoPro when I said to short it at $60. How's that working out? So soon you'll be able to get a GoPro, a Fitbit, and a BlackBerry all wrapped up into one product, probably for the low, low price of like $5. Not the stock, the products themselves, because hey, they'll probably just be giving them away sooner or later. Namaste. This is pretty good.